Somebody asked me, wondering how to put multiple views into one main view, however on a single page. With that I mean to create something like a dashboard, for example split screen into four parts, and each part will be connected to a different view. Is it possible to pass multiple data context to the main view at once? So what we're trying to do here is build a dashboard and have multiple panels on that dashboard that represent different views, and we want to bind each of those views to their own data context. So the suggestion here of passing multiple data context to the main view isn't quite what we want. What we want in this case is a view model such as a dashboard view model that's going to contain all the view models for the panels on the dashboard. So in this demo, let's create a dashboard that has multiple panels that all hook up to their own data context. So for this demo, I already have our panels laid out. I actually call them tiles. So our dashboard is going to be made up of tiles. So first off, I have this cost tile and this is going to display our costs. So the domain that we're dealing with here is like a business where we have costs, revenue, profit, stuff like that. So the other tile, as I kind of mentioned, a profit tile where we show our profit for the business. Also a revenue tile where we show our revenue and also a tile that has a list of our recent sales. And with all these tiles, I have view models as well. So I have a cost view model, profit view model, etc. And these just have hard coded data in here. So not going to worry about data fetching. We're just strictly focusing on UI stuff right here. So first part of our commenter Maxim's question, how do we put multiple views into one main view? So we are going to do just that. Let me add a views folder to our MVVM project. So views and inside here, we're going to have our view that's going to contain all of our tiles. This is our dashboard. So it's going to be dashboard.xaml. This is user control, which is what we typically use for all views. So let's add that. And inside here, we're going to add all of the tiles to the dashboard. So let's design this dashboard. We're going to have two rows is what I'm thinking. So let's add a row definition. We can just do auto for the first one and we'll do star for the second one. So the second row is going to fill all the height. And this will make sense for the tile layout that I have in mind. So in this first grid row, we're going to have another grid. So this is grid row zero. And inside this grid, I'm going to have three columns. So let's add these column definitions. And all of these are going to be the same width. So we're going to have star for all three of these. So each column takes up one third of our total width. And in each of these columns, we're going to have tiles. So the first tile I want is our profit tile. So let's add that and we're gonna have to import our components namespace. And this is going in grid column zero. And then we copy this and paste it two more times. So we're gonna have another tile that goes in grid column one, another tile that goes in grid column two, except these aren't gonna be the profit tiles. The second tile we're gonna have is, I think the revenue tile would look good. And then finally the cost tile. And then we're gonna need margin for all these. So for this profit tile, I just want margin to the right, we'll do 10. And then for this middle tile, I'm gonna do five margin on the left and right. And then finally for the cost tile, I'm gonna do margin just to the left. So that should look good. And then finally the second grid row, all we're gonna have here is the recent sales listing tile. So let's add that recent sales listing tile. Let's add some margin to the top. So how about 20? And then of course this goes in grid row one. And then finally, I want to add margin around my entire grid so that we're not pushed all the way up against the window. So for this, we'll do 25, I think. So our dashboard should be good enough. I'll probably play with this more when we get into live debugging. But let's add our dashboard to our main window. So this is what we display when we start up. Right now I'm showing this tile, but I want to show the dashboard. So let's import that from our views namespace. And huh, I usually suffix my view names with the word view, such as like dashboard view, but I guess I didn't do that here. Anyways, our dashboard should appear on our main window when we start up. So let's try this out. All right, cool. I'm looking at our dashboard. Of course, the only issue again is that we don't have any data in here. So this gets back to the second part of our commenter Max M's question, or really the only question he asked, and that is, is it possible to pass multiple data context to the main view at once? And again, like I mentioned earlier, not quite we're going to have a dashboard view model that contains all of the view models for all of these dashboard items. And then we'll connect all of these dashboard items up to their respective view models. So let's create that view model. I already have a view models folder. We're just going to add another view model in here. This is the dashboard view model. We're going to inherit from view model base, 
which is just a view model that implements I notify property changed. So similar to how our dashboard view is made up of a cost tile, profit tile, recent sales listing tile, and revenue tile, our dashboard view model is gonna be made up of view models for each of those tiles. So let's add a public property for our cost view model, and we'll just call our property cost view model. And we can actually just make this read only. And then we're also going to have our profit view model. So let's add a property for that, as well as our revenue view model. And finally, our recent sales view model. So I'm actually going to take all these view models through the constructor. So let's generate a constructor for all these properties. So now I just need my dashboard view model to be the data context of my dashboard view so that I can eventually bind to all of these view models. So to do that, I'm gonna change the structure of how we start up our app. So in my app.xaml, I'm gonna remove this startup URI. So let's get rid of that. And now we're gonna manually set up our main window instead of using startup URI. So I'm gonna go into the app.xaml.cs and I'm going to override on startup. So when our app starts up, I'm going to set the main window of our app to a new main window. And that's just our main window that we have over here, which has our dashboard. And on this main window, I'm going to set the data context to be our dashboard view model that we just created. So let's import that and instantiate that here. And that's going to take all of our sub view models. So the view models for each of our tiles. So we can just instantiate all of those here as well. So a profit view model a cost view model, a revenue view model, and a recent sales view model. All right, that's all good. So our main window has our data context of our dashboard view model. And now we need to show our main window. So let's do a main window dot show. And now the most important part, let's hook up our dashboard tiles to their respective view models. So as we do this, let's track our data context. So we're setting our data context on our main window to a dashboard view model. So if we go to our main window, Right here, our data context is the dashboard view model. And this main window shows the dashboard. So if we go to our dashboard view, our data context is still going to be our main window's dashboard view model. And that's exactly what we want. So our dashboard has a data context of our dashboard view model. And now we can pass down the data context to each of our tiles. So the data context that we want for our profit tile is going to be the profit view model that we have on our dashboard view model. So we can bind our profit tile to that. And we want a similar thing for the rest of these tiles as well. So we want to bind our revenue tile to the revenue view model on our dashboard view model. And then let's bind this cost tile to the cost view model. And last but not least, the recent sales listing view model, the data context is going to be our recent sales view model. And now all of our tiles can bind to their respective view models. So if we run this, we should see our data. So let's see what we get. And there we go. That's exactly what we expected. Relating to the original question, we have multiple views on a single view. So in other words, for this example, we have all of our tiles on our main dashboard view. And then also each of our views or each of these tiles have their own data context. So we have the profit tile has the profit view model as its data context. The revenue tile has the revenue view model as its data context and so on. So just to summarize, we created this dashboard view that has all of the dashboard tiles on it. And then we created a dashboard view model that contains view models for each of our tiles. And then finally, all we did was hook all these view models up to their respective view models by setting the data context. So hopefully you can apply these concepts to your own WPF application so that you can split up and put together complex views out of smaller, easier to maintain sub views. Finally, if you have any questions, criticisms, or concerns, be sure to leave those below in the comments section. If you enjoyed the video or are enjoying the channel, consider becoming a member. Other than that, leave a like or subscribe for more. Thank you.